As Lagos State strives towards an economy that is technology-driven, aimed at improving the lives of Lagosians, it therefore becomes imperative to prepare the residents of Lagos to meet the new workforce demand, harness the benefits of technology, and communicate effectively in the language of the future. Bearing this in mind, the Lagos State Ministry of Education introduced the Code Lagos Initiative with the purpose of making coding education framework accessible to every student in Lagos State. To effectively carry out this initiative, the Code Lagos Master Trainers Workshop was recently organized for 110 facilitators. This is the instructions that are available to us. Now, each instruction comes under a statement block. These here are the statement blocks. So you have motion statement block. What's the next one? After that, we have event, data, events, and each of them have commands related to them. The Code Lagos Initiative is being supported by some corporate organizations. We're very proud of partnering with Lagos State Government on the Code Lagos Initiative. And um, we can confidently say this is a foundation of the future economy. While many other people are paying attention to building physical infrastructure, Lagos State has taken things beyond that to build the most important infrastructure, which is human infrastructure. And in the knowledge economy, it's just about technology. And that's the foundation Lagos State is laying, and we're so proud of that. And we're bold to say, by what we see and the projections of this program, Nigeria will soon start providing its own capacity in the software space. To date, I would say that this is ideally the right approach for us to start preparing for the future. Um, technology is very important to us, and if we look around us, we will see the immense contribution of technology to economic development. Now, if we believe that the future is in our hands, I believe the right way to go is to start coding from now on. Now, we are preparing the future of innovative Nigerians. We are preparing the future of analytical thinking Nigerians. We're preparing the future of problem-solving Nigerians. 500 coding centers will also be set up in schools, public libraries, and community centers across the state. After this, the next thing we're going to be seeing throughout the month of April, we'll, um, is, as I speak to you, we've started setting up our coding centers in our different schools where this will start up. you recall that ARM made a commitment, one of our private sector organizations made a commitment to set up 15 centers. So as I speak to you, those 15 centers are being set up. And for us as government, um, we're already setting up our own centers too. So by um, before the end of this month, when we launch our, our minimum of 300 centers we're going to have, we'll give you the list of the centers, and you'll know where coding centers will start come April this year when the students resume back to school. Fifteen of these centers will be established in low-income schools, in line with the vision of Governor Akiumi Ambody's commitment to promote inclusive governance and qualitative education for all citizens. When you're talking of building smart city, you also have to build smart thinkers. It's not just about the physical infrastructure, about broadband internet, no. It's about the mindset of the people. We want the people to start thinking in a very innovative way. We want them to start thinking and ensuring that creativity becomes part and parcel of them. So we're building a Lagos that's going to be based on solid, innovative platform, where every single um, Lagosian has the capability and opportunity to tap into their potential. The debt of quality programming skills increases the cost of our business. But this initiative of Lagos State, of creating these skills right from the cradle, means that it is possible for cost of business to come down because we're going to have a lot more programmers. And it may also interest you to know that many of the programmers here are also in demand outside the country. And so, if we are not competitive, we're going to keep losing them there. But the many more we can create, the better it is. And so that's our interest, to partner with Lagos State to reduce the skills gap and availability of qualitative programming skills. The special advisor to the Governor on Education, Mr. Obafela Bank Olema, urge the master trainers to make good use of the knowledge gained. Our plan is to make Lagos the technology frontier of Africa. So if anybody anywhere in the world 
is thinking of doing something technology in Africa, you come to Lagos because you know that Lagos has the resources and the manpower to drive it. Everybody in our schools are Lagosians, you know, so we're sending, we're having facilitators both in our public schools and also our private schools, in our public libraries, our um, tertiary, our tertiary institutions, you know, that's where we're going to be running Code Lagos. It excites us that we're training 110 uh, master facilitators free of charge, you know, so for them, we've given them skills. You know, but the next thing for them is how to train the next 1,000 facilitators into our school. So we want them to take this thing very serious. The skills we've given them today will also allow them to do other things for themselves. So that excites us as the government that we empowered them. You know, and we're still going to empower thousands of more facilitators. It's been a very pleasant experience so far. Um, I've been able to learn some new ideas, you know, when it comes to coding. All along, it's, it's all about theory, theory, theory. But right now, we're doing the practical thing. So... It's, it's been an amazing journey. That's why I'm really trying to listen very well because the whole idea is to impact this knowledge, not just on the staff, but to the students, the younger generation. I can just say thank you, thank you, thank you. This is truly an amazing one. So thank you, please keep it up, let more of it keep coming because obviously it's going to change the world, not just Lagos, not just Nigeria. Code Lagos is, um, is an initiative that um Personally, I've been dying to see in this part of the country because um, um, at the moment, that is um, where technology is being actually tilted to, especially as it relates to 21st century skills. I, I strongly believe that if this initiative that is actually started by the Lagos state government, if it's followed through um, by other states, I, I strongly believe that um, very shortly, we're going to be having a, a country that will be able to compete favorably with other developed countries in terms of technology. Learning to code empowers students to become value-creating employees while improving their logical reasoning, problem-solving skills and creativity. The ball has been set rolling and it is believed that by 2019, one million Lagosians will learn to code.